Hello, namaste. Nalini Patel representing the Holistic Living Group in Preston. Welcome to my third and final lockdown video where today I'm going to talk about Ayurveda as a traditional medicine. Ayurveda is a very traditional non-toxic medication that's survived and flourished for thousands of years. Ayurveda actually means knowledge of life and it's been around in existence for well over 5,000 years. Ayurvedic physicians work to identify the root of the disease and work to rectify that before more radical intensive treatments are required as well. Ayurveda very much focuses on the philosophy that every individual has the ability to heal themselves. To really understand Ayurveda, it's really important that you understand how Ayurveda and the practice of Ayurveda views the body. So, according to Ayurveda, the body is governed by three main bodily functions. Now, these are wind, heat, bile and mucus. And these are known as the free humours. Now, when an individual is born, so when a baby is first born, they are born with a unique set of three of these humours to a greater or lesser degree, which maintains a balance in the body. Now, through, through as they grow up or any imbalance in these three, three humours leads to disease, according to Ayurveda. Now, there's a number of reasons why, you know, we could end up with an imbalance of these humours. So sometimes it's diet, eating at the wrong time, eating the wrong food, eating foods that don't agree with us, changing the sleep routine, the environment, so the external environment, the seasons, the environment that we live in within our homes as well, stress, and that could be any stress, and any major life changes. So these are the main factors that can lead to an imbalance in these three humours, according to Ayurveda. Now, <clears throat> I am, today is very brief, um, you know, but obviously there will be opportunity for you to learn more if you attend one of our holistic living courses. So, for example, wind. Wind is made up of two of the elements, which are space and ether. And how wind works within the body is that it will find a vacuum and deposit itself there and kind of cause pain. Then you've got heat bile, which the elements that's made up of is fire, which causes inflammation within the body. And then you've got mucus, which is made up of the two elements, earth and water, and that takes the form of congestion within the body. So coughs and colds and respiratory problems as well. So to try for you to understand these three humours a bit more, I'm going to explain it in terms of a car. So you have a car and within a car you have wheels. Now these wheels produce motion which is wind so they're producing movement so that produces movement within the body and then you have the engine which it creates combustion in a car and that's what we refer to as heat bile within the body so that's the engine the fire and then if you think of a car you've got the overall structure the chassis of a car which is solid and grounded and that is made up by the mucus within the body, which is earth and water. Now, I know I've mentioned some of the main reasons that can lead to an imbalance of these three humours, but if you categorise them, they come into two main categories, which, which can create an imbalance, and one of them, and they are time and seasons. So that's eating at the wrong time, sleeping at the wrong time, the weather can impact on your body. So say, for example, you've got a lot of wind in your body, cold weather would aggravate that as well and then obviously there's personal lifestyle and that includes exercising at the right time undertaking exercises that agree with your body eating at the right time as well also for individuals throughout an individual's life they may experience a greater degree of one of the humors um, and again it's created by an imbalance so you know in young children especially young children you notice They've always got a runny nose, they've always got a cough, they've always got a cold, quite snotty most of the time. 
and that's because there's a lot of congestion in the body which is creating cough cough um, which is creating coughs um, and then you've got middle-aged where people often complain about digestive problems and that's because there's an imbalance of the heat bile and then you've got old age which you know we're achy we're feeling so we're not able to move more flexibly and that's because what's happened is the we the wind sorry has found a vacuum and occupied a place within the body um, which then leads to arthritis joint problems so to maintain a real balance of these humors ayurveda recommends the use of certainly you know your indian spices majority of indians have spices i know even if you're not indian majority of people use spices within their cooking to help balance out their humors for various treatments um, diet is the most basic and widely used therapy within the ayurvedic system and you know with the help of a planned diet you can you can really experience good health so for example i've got a plate here um, it's got a various spices in here so just just to give you an example turmeric taken with hot water and rock salt is excellent for coughs and congestion and then we move across to here which is hajuan that helps to ease indigestion and helps pacify any excess mucus and wind in the body here we have cardamom, which I know a lot of people are very familiar with. A very warm and sweet, sweet spice used often in baking. And that's an all-rounder, which helps to pacify all of the free humours that are in imbalance. Then we have cinnamon, which again is quite a warm spice and really helps with digestion. And this one actually is one of my favourites, fenugreek. And this one helps to body... to pacify cougher in the body and prevents stomach disorders but also adds quite quite a, a deep and depth taste to to some of the cooking dishes here as well. Ayurveda also works on the principle that our body clock has inbuilt four hourly rhythms um, so the four hourly which change during the day on a on an equal basis and these four hourly inbuilt rhythms are the focus of good health, good immunity, making sure our hormones are regulated correctly and also help to balance weight as well. Obviously, once you progress further into Ayurveda, you'll learn about how you can use these four hourly rhythms to ensure good immunity, good health within you. And that's about sleeping at the right time, eating the correct foods at the right time, exercising appropriately as well. So, Overall, principles of Ayurveda, Ayurveda, you know, it's part of a bigger picture. And on my first two videos, I did talk about yogic B breathing, pranayam, and, and that's all built into Ayurveda. It's all governed by the principles of Ayurveda as well. So holistic living really is about, you know, making sure that you undertake pranayam, which is the yogic breathing, which I talked a bit about in my first video. And then we've got talking about you know the use of non-toxic medication which is Ayurveda and of course the Reiki as well. Should you like to find out more about holistic living then please contact the holistic living group in Preston. They meet on a regular basis and organise well structured courses. If you're interested you can contact Jayshri Mystery or the National Forum Health and Wellbeing Preston www.nfhw.org.uk